Hello zombies! Sorry, terrible impression of Mikey. But anyways guys, so um, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing some glam and gore inspired nail art. I really do love her channel and I figured since it's the month of October, I would do some nail art dedicated towards hers. So yeah, let's get started. So first things first is I painted all of my nails white except for the pinky. I painted it black. And first starting on the thumbnail design. I did this off camera, but I went in with black acrylic paint and just painted on the outline of Mikey and of course, since she is known for her SFX makeup, I'm going to paint her looking like a zombie. I also decided to go with the hairstyle she got from Guy Tang, you know, the, the part where she shaved one side of her head. But anyways, so jumping on to the skin tone, um, I'm going to go in with three different shades of green just to fill it in. And while that is currently drying, I'm going to go in with different shades of like purple and blue and another kind of blue and I am just going to yeah paint it on random parts of her hair okay so now that that's out of the way and her green skin is you know somewhat dry I'm now going to go in with my toothpick and some black acrylic paint I'm going to paint on one of her eyes as for the other one I'm going to draw like the eyeball dingle dangling down this is actually a recreation to one of her makeup looks except instead of doing makeup I'm just doing a nail design version of it well, that is pretty much it for this nail design. Of course, if you don't want a zombie, you can always just paint her on right, like how she looks normally, um, excluding the eyebrows. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Here is the finished nail design. Now moving on to the second nail design. Um, it wasn't really my favorite, but I filmed it like four times, not gonna lie. Um, first things first is I once again went in with my toothpick and black acrylic paint and doing the connect the dot method, I just painted on a little heart. Have you ever seen the movie Warm Bodies? Yeah, I tried to do like a zombie heart, that's what that's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a bite mark into the heart if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, once again, uh, I painted it green, I then tried to save it with some stitches. Then decided to go in and, you know, paint on zombie using black acrylic paint. So this didn't work out because like, there was no room, I wanted to paint like a little kiss mark for the O. But, like I said, there was no room, so I ended up just painting on a regular one with this uh, black acrylic paint. But, because I already had all of the, you know, red acrylic paint mixed up, I decided just to add some little blood drips just for the gore. And, uh, yeah, so here's the finished nail design. I also couldn't help myself, um, I added some stitches. <laughs> now moving on to the middle nail design. This is obviously inspired by, like, her channel logo. Okay, so I am using acrylic paint for all this. It just makes it so much easier to work with. And I just painted on, like, a big, uh... A uh, horizontal line. This is just so I can keep everything like in order so it's not all flip flopped around. But I'm just gonna go in and just paint on Glam as best as I can. As you can see, I just cover up the thing once I'm done using it. So as you can see, I did a little uh oh up under there. Um, yeah, I had actually crunch everything together just because of the shape of my nail. And yes, that's supposed to be an E, not an F. But anyways, remember how I said I made all that excess red acrylic paint? Well, I'm gonna go in and paint on like a little bloody L for the glam and a little kiss mark for gore. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Here's the finished nail design. So now moving on to the fourth nail design, which is gonna be on the ring nail. Um, this is also kind of somewhat inspired by, you know, glam and gore. So I just went in with black acrylic paint to paint on like, you know, some eyelashes, some mascara. I also went in with the red and painted on some lips. But of course, because of the gore, I just added a bunch of little bloody drips everywhere. And here's the finished nail design. So for the final nail design, I'm going to paint on It Was Jack. Just kidding. No, I'm not going to paint anything. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of nail charms. And I got this super cute little ghost charm I got from, you know, Daily Charm. Um, and to secure it, you can use whatever top coat you want to use. I'm going to go with the matte finish. So I'm first just going to apply a generous amount to coat the whole nail. And before that has time to dry, I'm just going to stick on the little nail charm. And yeah, so uh, here's the finished nail design. But like I said, mi amigos, um, whatever top coat of your choice, I like matte finishes, but you can add a shiny, you can even add a hollow taco if you feel like you want to do that. But anyways guys, here it is. Here is the finished glam and gore inspired nail art. Um, yeah, uh -huh. For the exception of the index nail, I really liked how all the other ones turned out. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of today's nail art, as well as what other nail art you would like for me to do on my channel. And, uh, yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching!